Hello everybody, great to see you all today. Welcome to my first vinyl update video of 2020. Hope all of you had a safe and happy holiday season. Hope all of you got what you wish for this past holiday season. In this video, I'm going to show you the rest of my vinyl finds from 2019 that I didn't get a chance to show you in an update video before the end of 2019. So hope you enjoy the last remaining 2019 vinyl finds by other artists. And let's begin. I'm going to show you the 7 inch records of 45s to be exact. First one here is by the doors. The, the single by the doors I have here is Touch Me, Back with Wild Child. This is a UK mono pressing on Electro Records, pressed in England by Polydor Records, Wild Child. And here's a close-up of the 45 sleeve made by uh, Electro Records in England. And let me show you the record. The record's in nice condition, and I, I didn't pay a lot for this record. Here's a close-up. As you can see, the condition is excellent. Close-up of the Electra label. Other side, the Wild Child side. The next 45 I'm going to show you is by Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Now, a few months back, I ordered a Canadian mono pressing of the Beatles' Hard Day's Night soundtrack album, and the seller threw in this 45 as a bonus by Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Don't come around here no more. With the picture sleeve, back of it, picture sleeves in real nice shape. I remember the music video really well as I, I used to watch the music video of this on both MTV and VH1 shortly after it was a hit well you know around the time it was a hit and here's a close-up of the record in real nice condition and on the B side is trailer I never heard that song trailer I really enjoy Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, but I, I don't know all their songs. I, I know their big songs and, and uh, other deep cuts I, I like by them as well. And I have one more 45 to show you. And this one is a promo 45 that I found at my local record store uh, about a couple months ago. And this was only $2. And this is a, a promo 45 by Robert Plant. Tall Cool One from his Now and Zen album. Song repeats on both sides. Initials written on the label. And here's a close-up of the record. Both sides play great. And it has a Jimmy Page credit on, on the bottom here. Uh, Jimmy Page plays the guitar solo on the song. Here's the other side. This song features samples from a few Led Zeppelin songs. And some are played at very slow speed, which is a nice addition to the song. And this is also one of my favorite Robert Plant solo songs. That's all the 7-inch 45s for this vinyl update video. Now on to the albums. First one I'm going to show you is by Badfinger. Magic Christian Music by Badfinger. This is an original UK pressing on Apple. Back of it. And here's a better look at the jacket without the plastic sleeve. As you can see, it's laminated. It's a UK pressing. And this was a Badfinger album I really need for my vinyl collection. I have no dice and and straight up, but I don't don't have the UK pressing of this. I I need to try to get a UK pressing of their last album for Apple, which is titled Ass, and also try to get their Ivy's album. You know the Ivy's maybe tomorrow album, but 
I don't know if I'll find that for a great price, but this album has tracks from the Maybe Tomorrow album. And let me show you the album in the white inner sleeve, white UK sleeve. Here's a close-up of the record. The record's in real nice condition. 1970. Here's the other side. Next album I'm going to show you is also on Apple Records. It's by the Modern Jazz Quartet, Under the Jasmine Tree, is the name of the album. Back of it. Let me take the plastic sleeve off and, and I have a better look at the jacket, which is a laminated jacket made in the UK. The record is placed in the black apple inner sleeve. And here's a close up of the record. It's in stereo. Has a sold in UK text, which indicates it's a first press in. And here's the other side of the record. The rest of my vinyl finds are going to be brand new vinyl releases, brand new vinyl pressings. First one I'm going to show you is by Cream. Uh, this was just released on vinyl for the first time a couple months ago. I didn't learn about it until until uh, a couple weeks before the release, so I went ahead and pre-ordered this, and I'm glad to have it in my collection. This is Cream's BBC Sessions album. First time vinyl release. It was released on CD in the early 2000s. And it hasn't been released on vinyl until a couple months ago, like I said. That's my number right there, 5678. And here are the songs. And a nice photo of the band. And let me take the sleeve off the album here. Close up of the album without too much glare. And I kept the shrink. I'm not able to put the shrink on the album because I, I wanted to see the gatefold, see what it looks like. But here's the shrink that I kept. Cream BBC Sessions limited edition numbered white and cream vinyl. Let me show you the gatefold. It's a real nice gatefold. Track details, liner notes. I'm going to show you record one of the Cream BBC Sessions album. And this is on white vinyl. Close up of the label. And here's side two. And here's record two on cream vinyl. And the cream vinyl is really nice. Next record I'm going to show you is Pink Floyd, The Later Years, 1987 through 2019. This is a highlights compilation. This album consists of selected tracks from the big box, which is titled The Later Years, 1987 to 2019. Back of it. And here are the tracks. Has some live tracks, alternate versions, and early versions of some songs. 
This is a nice embossed jacket. And here's the close up of the back. And let me show you the the shrink real quick. Uh, like the Cream BBC Sessions album, this one also is a gatefold. And I need to, I really wanted to see the gatefold, so I had to take the shrink off, but I kept it. And here's a hype sticker. Two LP highlights of the later years, 1987 to 2019. 12 tracks, eight almost 80 minutes. Includes unreleased studio and live recordings. All with 2019 remixes and has a 24 page booklet. All tracks taken from the later years 87 2019, 16 disc limited edition box set. And let me show you the gatefold. Real nice gatefold. Before I show you the vinyl records, Here's the booklet, 24 page booklet. Includes photos and concert posters. Lots of rare photos in this booklet. Real nice photos of Pink Floyd and, and uh, separate photos of the members. And this is the last page right here. Set list for their, one of the Earl's Court concerts that they did during the, the Division Bell Tour in 94. Here's a close-up of Record 1 Inner Sleeve. Details about all the songs and, and the musicians that played on the tracks. Here's a record, close up of the label. Here's side two of record one. Here's record two. Same thing. Details about all the tracks and the mu musicians that played on the tracks. Close up of record two. The rest of the finds I'm going to show you in this update video are Who finds. I have copies of their new studio album simply titled Who, and I have a Pete Townsend signed novel I'm going to show you. Uh, so, hope you enjoy seeing the Who finds for the rest of the video. Uh, like I said, I have a Pete Townsend signed book titled The Age of Anxiety, Pete Townsend's new novel, back of it. I ordered this off the Waterstones website. Waterstones is based in London. And let me show you the Pete Townsend autograph. A picture of Pete right there. Now to show you copies of the new Who studio album, simply titled Who, which was released about a month ago. Uh, first, I want to show you the signed CD copies that I have here. I ordered three of them off the Who's website, which is based in England. And as you can see, these are signed by Pete Townsend. 
and and uh, these come in the shrink I, I I didn't think these were gonna come in the shrink and because of that I I decided to leave these two sealed and open this one but also keep the shrink on this uh, Pete signed the O card as you can see in which the CD is placed in and I had to create a a, a UK forwarding address in order to order these CDs because these were only available to customers in England. You know, the, the customers who have a UK address. So I created a UK forwarding address and and uh, I was able to place an order for three CD copies. And these CDs arrived safe and sound from England, from the, the UK forwarding place. And let me show you the open CD here. Let me quickly show the sealed ones before I put them down, if you don't mind. Okay, here's the open CD. And uh, the songs on the back. Has the main album and a few bonus tracks. And I have listened through the whole album and I enjoyed it a lot. Here's a close-up of the CD. The front cover was designed by Peter Blake. Peter Blake also designed the Who's Face Dances album cover. And, of course, the Beatles Sgt. Pepper's album cover. And I really love this album cover. It was, it was nicely done by Peter Blake. Back of it. And this is a European Union CD pressing. And here's the inside here. Let me show you the booklet. That's what the gatefold of the vinyl album looks like. And I, I have two vinyl copies of this album I'm going to show you. There's Pete and Roger. I'm happy to say I now have Pete and Roger's autographs. I already showed Roger's autograph in one of my videos. Here's a close-up of the CD. Well, before I show you the CD, there's the the in, inside of the case there. It's just a paper bag and the Who on the side there. Let me uh, put the CD back in here. Nice close-up of the CD, made in the European Union, and it's on Polydor. And I always love this Polydor label. I'm going to conclude this Vinyl Finds by Other Artists update video by showing you two vinyl copies of the new Who album, simply titled Who. Here's the front cover. And I kept a shrink on this one. Uh, the second copy, I'm, I'll show you the gatefold. And the gatefold's the same on this one. But the next copy I, I'm going to show you, I took the shrink completely off. But this one I kept the shrink. And there's a hype sticker there. The first studio album since 2006 from The Who. Ball and Chain. All of this music must fade. Two record set which includes the main album, the regular album on black vinyl, and this one has a bonus disc, which is a, a hits compilation on the bonus disc. It has all the, has a, the Who songs that we, we know and love. And when I show you that record, I'll, I'll read off all the tracks that are on there. Oh, those are the selected tracks that they put on the hype sticker. It's a real nice hype sticker. Here's record one. Pete and Roger on one side. On the other side is the track list for the album. And the details. And the musicians that played on the record. And here's a close-up of the record on the 180 gram black vinyl. Made in the European Union on the Polydor label. And here's side two. And this vinyl pressing sounds great. I played through the whole album. 
And here's the bonus hits record. Here's a close-up of the record on white vinyl. When I pre-ordered this album on Bo Moose, there was no mention that this was going to be on white vinyl. I love colored vinyl. Love to collect me some colored vinyl. Close-up of the label. And on this side, you have four well-known Who songs. The Who songs that everybody knows and loves. And I think that's a catalog number on the bottom. I, I believe it is. Yeah, it is. And uh, the songs on this side are Baba O'Reilly, My Generation, Who Are You, and Behind Blue Eyes. Looks like Who Are You is the, the full-length version and not a, a single edit. And on side two, Pinball Wizard, Won't Get Food Again. Won't Get Food Again is a single edit. The Seeker and Eminence Front. I haven't played this bonus hits record. Uh, I'm sure it will sound great, but I wanted to keep this one in mint condition. I've also heard these songs millions of times already. Uh, all great songs. The last vinyl record I'm going to show you in this update video is another copy of the Who's new studio album, simply titled Who. This is a Who Store exclusive colored vinyl edition. This is a triple colored vinyl set here. Has two vinyl records cut at 45 RPMs and both on colored vinyl. It's, it's the album cut at 45 RPM and, and uh, cut on two LPs. And also includes a 10 inch vinyl, also colored vinyl, of a rare demo that was on release before I show you the records let me show you the back here and let me show you the gatefold here's record one and here's record one Cut at 45 RPM on blue vinyl. And here are the songs on side one of record one. And then here's side two of record one. Next few songs. ST45, which means it's cut at 45 RPMs and it's in stereo. And this one I haven't played yet. I, I want to leave this in mint condition. I'll just play the black vinyl one I just showed you. And here's record two. The Who's album catalog on the other side. There's a close-up of record two on white vinyl. Here's a 10 inch bonus record which is on colored vinyl and it's in a sleeve which is designed to look like the Polydor single sleeves. Here's a close up of the 10 inch record on red colored vinyl. This record includes a rare Pete Townsend demo titled San. Uh, Pete did this demo back in the 60s. Unheard demo. This record is designed to look like a, an acetate. Here's the other side with all blank grooves. And here's the, the sand side. That's it for my first Vinyl Finds update video of 2020. Showing you the rest of my 2019 Vinyl Finds. Hope you all enjoyed seeing all my 2019 Vinyl Finds. And stay tuned for more videos like I always say and talk to you all later. Thank you for watching.